Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today I would like to take a minute and sidestep the usual programming on this channel to bring to you the upside of the Biden administration. This was inspired by an influencer and at the moment I can't think of his name. I don't know which platform he's huge on, but there is a story going around that the Biden administration was hitting up influencers and asking them to make videos that are more favorable to the Bidens. And he was quite confused about this, and he said, yeah, sure, for 50000 bucks, I can do it better than that, guys, I'm telling you. I'm only going to charge the Biden administration $20,000 for this video that you are currently watching. As you know, this is 2024, and we are in the throes of an election year in America and I just want to reframe some of your thinking here the Biden administration has made us very strong we are the strongest we can be as a nation as a society look around you remember towards the beginning of Joe Biden's administration there were supply chain issues, right? Like, we couldn't get anything. What did we do? We grew gardens. We learned where our food came from. We started uh, keeping chickens, obviously, in the backyard. We've got laying hens. We're doing meat birds. We're out here butchering our own meat. We're collecting our eggs. We're doing it, guys. We are doing it. Self-sufficiency, right? which led to more learning. Remember we all learned to can? Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Kind of felt like there was a bomb in the kitchen, and technically I think it could be considered a bomb in the kitchen if it goes wrong, but we, we pushed through it and we learned how to can. This, look at this, doesn't that look gorgeous, guys? Tomatoes, pickles, carrots, onions, garlic, that is delicious. I, I could be eating a salad in January. It's January when I'm filming this. And it didn't stop there, guys. No siree. That's right. It does not stop there, guys. The guns and ammo, uh, accessories for your guns. Sales have been off the charts. Everybody's buying a gun now. You you can't go to the store and buy appropriate amounts of ammo because everybody's hoarding the ammo, okay? Um, and the accessories, guys. Guys, let me tell you, you could have a garbage barge in no time flat. Just slap on a, a laser pointer and a scope and another flashlight onto that thing. There you go. But it is very important with all of these newbies purchasing guns, which, by the way, I don't think I'm supposed to say guns here, um, because the censorship has really taught us what we can and cannot say. So let's say boomsticks, okay? I think that one's allowed for some reason, boomstick. Um, it is very important to understand your boomstick, and I'm speaking to the new boomstick owners out there. You really need to know everything about it uh, inside and out. And you really, really, really have to know how to use it. So practice is very important. For one, I prefer to get up and do some target practicing first thing in the morning. I mean first thing, before I have my coffee, before I even get dressed. Here's a clip. Boom shakalaka. Now, let's talk about how the Biden administration has really changed the culture here. For one thing, I personally took up painting, oil painting this time, not just the acrylics, not just the meet a group of girls somewhere and get hammered and, and throw some paint at some canvas. I'm sorry, they do it more eloquent than that. Um, you know, where you go drink wine and paint, everybody paints the same picture. 
Um, what I did is I took my favorite photos from around here. This is one of baby boy when he was a baby. And yes, a squirrel, in case you can't tell. This was my reference picture that I had printed out and I took to oil paintings because nothing's more uh, high society than an oil painting. But this is one of a collection out of, I've, I've called the collection Amy's Garden, and it is of flowers and butterflies and, and lizards in my garden and the little tree frogs in my garden, and of course, a squirrel made it in. Imagine that. Um, now, true, the art gallery in my location shut down right as I finished about 12 of these paintings. So I'm not sure where I'm going to sell the paintings, but um, yeah, I'm going to have to text Hunter. And I think he's got a lead on that. I know it's not the spitball shit that, that most of his collectors are collecting, but he might... He might have a line on me for for that. Now, the other thing, weren't we all making our own clothes? Like, it blew up, guys. We're sewing our own outfits, okay? And I, for one, took a cue from Dr. Jill Biden herself. I made a dress right out of the drapes. That's right. I took the drapes off of the window and made a fabulous dress. Here, let me show you. Okay, tell me this is not gorgeous. I hope I'm in frame. This used to be the drapes on my windows. Now you can see I've got a fabulous gown. And pro tip guys, if you get the darkening drapes, they come pre-lined. So no more you have to go through here and they say, oh, pick out a fabric to use and then make sure you have a good liner. Mm -mm. It's all done, guys. Shortcuts. Yes. Yes. And guys, let's not forget the improvements to customer service. Now we just ring ourselves up when we go shopping at self-checkout fabulous. The only time I need a sales representative or customer service person is to unlock the shaving gel. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe the Tide. I, I don't know. I mean, I've heard that prepping is a thing now too, where you stockpile food. And the generation that was eating Tide Pods they're now grown up and buying their own groceries. So I think maybe they're stockpiling Tide Pods. I don't understand why the Tide would be locked up. But I'm just saying, uh, maybe we should be grateful that we were forced into a situation to figure some things out for ourselves, to expand our minds into art and, and creating. And uh, I do invite you to join me in the next video where I um, pretty much I'm going to elaborate why everybody's quitting YouTube. Yeah, that, that phrase in itself seems to be trending, so that's next. And just so you know, um, you know, I've heard that a bunch of people are getting arrested for the January 6th, you know, their erection. Um, but I also heard that it was like over 200 FBI agents. So I think, is the FBI in jail, in prison? I don't know. But I think I could pull this off, guys. I am literally going to sell an invoice to the Biden administration for $20,000 because I'm charging them for making this video. Now... Are they going to pay it? I don't know. I'm just saying, I've never lost a bag of cocaine anywhere. I certainly never have, like, in the White House with Secret Service around me. So I'm not sure what all they have going on up there, but it they may just look at it and be like, pay it, pay it, pay it, get rid of it. So, yeah, we're going to send that invoice. <laughs> this was not clickbait, see? Because I'm, I'm billing them. Anyways, y'all have a great day. 
good luck surviving the election year. It's, it's going to get rough. All we can do is, is keep the faith and try to keep our sense of humor, guys. Okay, be prepared, not scared, and let's rock and roll with it.